Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and welcome back to another episode of Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about how to multiply polynomials. Now let's proceed to the whiteboard in order for us to start our video tutorial. Alright, okay, let's proceed to our next example. And in our second example, we will have um, a binomial multiplied to a trinomial. Now, the question is, how do we multiply this polynomial? Same procedure as what we did in our previous example. We're just going to apply the distributive property or the FOIL method. But instead of having the first outer inner or last, we will proceed to um, distributing the first term to each term of our um, trinomial and our second term to each term of our trinomial. So let me show you by... Um, demonstrating how to multiply a binomial to a trinomial. So let's start first with our first term, x multiplied to multiplied to our trinomial. So we have here x times 2x, okay, that will be 2x cubed. Next, x times x that will be positive x squared. Next, x times negative 6, that will be negative 6x. Now that we're done with our first term, we will proceed to our second term, which is positive 3, and we will multiply that to each term of our trinomial. So let's proceed, multiplying 3 to 2x squared, that will give us positive 6x squared. Next, 3 times x, that will be positive 3x. And then last one, 3 times negative 6, that will give us negative 18. And that's it. We multiplied our polynomial. But we're not yet done. We have to do the next step, which is to combine like terms. And in combining like terms, since we use the word combine, we will add our similar or common terms. So let's combine like terms, starting with 2x cubed. So since it doesn't have any partner, we will just bring it down to 2x cubed. Next, we have x squared plus 6x squared. So let's combine them. Knowing that we have an invisible one here, 1 plus 6, that will be, that will be positive 7, then x squared, okay, copy the variable and the exponent of that variable. Then let's move on to the next one, negative 6x plus 3x, so copy the sign of the larger number, negative, and then subtract 6 minus 3, that will give us 3 and then copy the variable x. Okay, so we have negative 3x. And then last one, we have negative 18. So it doesn't have any partner, so we will just bring it down. So bring down negative 18, so negative 18. And that's it. So the product of this two polynomial will be 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3x minus 18. Ta-da! All right. Okay, and that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.